Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. Saint John, in his Gospel, chapter nine, narrates us one of the most heart-touching stories of the man born blind and his quest to see the face of the Son of God. His journey, his spiritual journey, from physical blindness to spiritual blindness, and from spiritual blindness to wholeness of life. It reminds us of our own journeys, my dear brothers and sisters. Not only it reminds us of our own journeys, but also one of uh, the most life-changing experiences we undergo during this journey, and that is rejection. While we know that we have been repeatedly rejected by so many people around us, believe that there is someone who accepts you. And therefore, I invite you, dear brothers and sisters, to study the journey of this man, the spiritual journey of this man, and the people he comes across. So, in verse 8, the first group of people he comes across are his neighbors and bystanders. So, what do they ask him? They say, tell us who this man is and where, is, where he is. And the man born blind says, I do not know. Interesting answer. He says, I do not know. And really, even though he has been physically healed, his spiritual blindness remains. The second group of people in verse 17 that he meets are Pharisees. The Pharisees repeatedly ask him, Tell us, who do you say this man is? And you know what he says? His answer is interesting. He says, He is a prophet. Now you tell me, friends, who has revealed this, uh, this answer to this uh, man born blind? Jesus himself, because he is silently, gradually working in him to remove his spiritual blindness. His first answer was, I do not know. And now he says, says he is a prophet. And the third group of people that he comes across are his parents who straight away reject him. And the Pharisees again who repeatedly ask him, tell us who this man is. And interestingly, his third answer is, if he were not from God, he would not have worked this miracle. Truly, my dear brothers and sisters, see how Jesus works in his life slowly. There is a conflict within him to believe who Jesus is and to know him, to see his face clearly, clearly. And the Lord is making it clearer and clearer. Now we can see not only him as a prophet, he now believes he is someone who has come from God. And then finally, this man comes across Jesus himself face to face. And when he asks him, do you know the Son of Man? This man says, this answer expresses his desire to see the face of God. And he says, tell me, sir, who it is that I may believe in him. And then the Lord says, you have seen him and one who is talking to you is he. My dear brothers and sisters, his final answer, the most beautiful answer of all, he says, yes, Lord, I believe. And then he prostrates before the Lord and worships him. My dear brothers and sisters, let us contemplate upon the words of our Saviour. Having seen all these, what he says, he says, I came into this world so that those who do not see may see, and those who see may become blind. Let us ask this question to ourselves. Have I seen the Lord or have I experienced His hands in my life? 
or is he his his uh, direct intervention into my life if i am not able to see or experience ask the lord to heal us of our spiritual blindness may he set us free totally and completely amen